Okay, so if this is my list of numbers, I'm going to go ahead and transfer them onto my stem and leaf plot. We need to know, though, that this side is a little bit different from this side. Can anybody tell me something about this side? Uh, John Paul. Is how many of the number that there is? Close. Something else. Yes, Shadi. So, like, if you're in, like, in the 10th place, uh -huh. there's, like, a 3 on the stem side, and then the leaf will be 5, and that would be, like, 35. Okay. So, like what could I say about my leaves? The They're always your ones place. No matter how big your number, the leaf is always your ones. So go ahead and write that on there so you don't forget. Always your ones place. So for a stem and leaf plot, I could put numbers in the thousands if I wanted to, but there's only going to be numbers in the ones written here. So for example, if I take my first number, is that my smallest? Nope, that's not my smallest. What's my smallest number in this list? Zero. zero. Okay, if I look at the number zero, how many numbers are in my tens place? Zero. Okay, zero. And how many numbers are in my ones place? Zero. So when I read this, my, this is the number zero. So I've used this one, yeah. That means that there's nothing in my tens place, and there's also nothing in my ones. Now my next smallest number is what from my list? One. For the number one, how many numbers are in my tens place? Zero. So I'm going to use this zero, and then how many in my ones place? One. So I'd write it like this, with no commas. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, uh, you don't have to. Okay, so I've used the one, so I'm going to mark it off so I know I've already used it. My next smallest number would be what? Two. two. For no, the number two, what's in my tens place? <coughs> Nothing, or a zero, excuse me. And so I'm going to use this zero, and then what would I write here for my ones place? A two. No commas. So I've used two, I'm going to cross it off. Anything else that's small? What would be next? Four. Four's next. So how would I write the four? Where would I write it? Would I put it further down? Would I put it next to the two? Yeah, because I still have zero in my tens place and the four in my ones place. So there's one four, but I have another one. I have to also include that one. So zero here, four there. That's been crossed out. Any more fours? No. Okay, how about five? No. Six? No. Yes. Yeah. yes, I have one six. So I'm going to write it the same way. Use that zero and write a six. How about sevens? No, no. oops. No. Nope. Eight? Yes. yes. Zero is in my tens place. Eight is in my ones place. And then you have two nines. And then I have, good, two nines. And I have to write both of them. Nine and nine. Notice, please, that these numbers here in my leaves go from least to greatest. What if the smallest number was a four? If the smallest number was a four, then this zero, one, and two would be gone. And I wouldn't have to worry about it at all. I would start with the four. What do you mean? Like the smallest number was four? Uh-huh. No, no. So, yeah, you're only going to be putting the numbers that are from my data chart or my table or whatever as part of my stem and leaf plot. Now let's go ahead and move on. After my ones, like after nine, what's the next number? Ten. It would be ten. Do I have a ten in my list? No. 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 Okay, I have a twelve. So now, in my tens place, what number do I have? One. one. That's my stem. Okay, all my tens, whether it be ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Oh, all of those will be in this area here. Okay, so you said I had a twelve. So I have a 1 in the tens place and a 2 in the ones. Okay, I've used that one. What's next? Do I have 13? 17. Good. 17 is the next one. So again, what number do I have in my tens? 1. one. So a 7 would be a leaf. No spaces in between. because I Just because I don't have a 3 or a 4 or a 5 doesn't mean I have to leave a space. Okay. So this right here, this 1, this line and that 2 represents 12. I would read it that way. And this 1 and 7, that would be a 17. So I use 17. What's next? 18. So I'd put an 8. That 1 and this 8 represent 18. What's next? 
Another 18. Another 18, this one down here. So I do the same thing. Again, no commas. Uh, what's next after 18? Okay, so now, good. I can't skip from 1s to 10s and then to 30s. I've got to put a 2 here to represent 20s. Just like on my line plot, that gap needs to be seen. Okay, so do I have anything in the 20s? No. So I'm going to leave it blank. Why can't I put a zero there? That would mean that 20 is part of my list. Now, if you wanted to, you could put a line like that. Or you can leave it blank. Okay, those are your choices. A line to show that there's nothing there or leave it blank. Okay, so nothing in my 20s, but how about 30s? Okay, so I'm going to put a 3 because that's in my 10s place. And what kind of numbers do I have in my 30s? 32. So I'd put a 2 here. Anything else? No. no, nothing else. And I have one number left, and that's my 40s. How am I going to write that? 4, four and, then and then a 1. And then I'm finished with my stem and leaf plot, but then they'll ask me questions like, find the mode, which is kind of easy because I can look and see, well, I have two 8s there, which is 18, and I have two 9s here which a 0 and a 9 is just 9. So what would be my mode? Yeah. Oh, and there's two 4s. Good. So mode is 9, 18, and 4. Yes, Caden? What about that other You're sure? You're okay? Yeah, I Okay. So I masked the mode. I figured that out. Now we're going to be finding the median. What's the median? You can just cross off the what is it though? What's how do I find median? Is it the outside number, middle number? Good. And so because it's in order, and this is a little bit tricky. If you don't like finding the median using the stem and leaf plot, you're okay. You don't have to. You just need to list them in order. But we can do this. My first number is zero, and that's the smallest. My largest is 41. So I'm going to cover up the one and the zero. Then I'm going to move, again, taking the smallest number, 1, and then the next larger number, which is 32. Take that 2, and then I have to skip. Now, do I go to the 12, or do I go to the 18? 12. 18, because it's the next biggest, okay? So then this 4, that 8. That 4, this 7, that 6, this 2. Now where do I go? This guy needs to come over here, so that 9 and that 8. What's in the middle? Nine. Okay. Nine is my median. Say that again. Oh, good. To find range, what do I do? Sub good. Subtract my largest and my smallest number. So my largest is 41. And my smallest? Zero. So what's my range? Good. Very nice.